In this video, I'm going to explain why I think nextchat.ai is the best chat GPT alternative for coding. I've tried out a number of different chat GPT related services and nextchat.ai is by far the best for coding. In my opinion, nextchat.ai is still powered by chat GPT and it's actually the plus version of chat GPT. So it's not the free version. It's the plus version. So you still get the same great responses as chat GPT, which can be found at chat chat.openai.com, but there are so many essential features that I'm going to be showing you in this video. Features like conversation folders, prompt libraries, and on top of all that, it keeps your data secure. Nextchat.ai does not keep a record of your conversations or your prompts. If you go to nextchat.ai and click down here on disclosures, it explains that it doesn't even have a way to see or access your conversation data. So it's literally so secure that if you were to put a gun to the creator's head and ask for the owner, the creator, to show your conversation data to them, nextchat.ai could not do it. It literally has no way to see your conversation data. This, more than anything, causes me to use nextchat.ai over chat.openai.com. In case you didn't know, if you're using ChatGPT at chat.openai.com, all your conversation data is being tracked and it's being used to teach ChatGPT. And they're actually open about this. If you look at the bottom of the screen, it says free research preview. What's happening is OpenAI is taking in your conversation data and automatically training ChatGPT with your data. What that means is anything you say in a conversation at chat.openai.com may potentially show up in another random person's conversation response. There's been horror stories of people's credit card information showing up in a response and even people's proprietary code showing up in responses. So this just makes chat.openai.com extremely unsafe for developers because we work with private data all the time if we're working with clients and it would be devastating if that private data, that private code showed up in someone else's response. Well, with NextChat, you don't even have to worry about that. NextChat does not keep a record of your conversations. And if you look at the disclosure, because NextChat uses the OpenAI API, there is a different terms of service. According to OpenAI, they do not use the data submitted over their API to train or improve their models. So it's impossible for that to happen. You can actually share private data and that will never show up in another conversation. ChatGPT won't remember it unless NextChat explicitly decides to share the data, which NextChat has not opted in to allow OpenAI. AI to use your data. The only data that OpenAI keeps, they keep data for a maximum of 30 days just to track for abuse or misuse monitoring purposes. So for example, if someone's using an API and maybe they rack up $10,000 worth of charges in a week, that's probably a bad actor using their API. And so in those situations, they may go in to look at the conversations just to make sure that this is a real person, not a hacker or something like that. But at most, they keep that data stored for 30 days and then it's deleted. And again, the data is never used to train or improve the models. So you don't have to worry about your proprietary data, your private data showing up in someone else's responses if you use nextchat.ai. This honestly is the number one reason why I use it. However, there are some other essential features like conversation folders and prompt libraries that I'm going to show you right now that have become essential to my developer workflow. So if you'd like to follow along, you can go to next chat.ai. It's free to sign up. You can click this sign up free button. That should take you to a page like this. Again, you'll notice they just reiterate that they keep your data secure by making it impossible for nextchat.ai to save your conversations and prompts. The way they do that, by the way, is they only ever, your prompts and your conversations are only ever saved to your local device. So your laptop, your tablet, your phone, they're never even saved to nextchat's database. So again, there's literally no way way that NextChat could even see your conversations because they're only ever saved to your local device. So you'll notice if you sign up for NextChat, maybe you use it on a computer and then maybe you pull it up on your phone. You'll notice that none of your conversation data will be on your 
phone. On your phone, you'd have to create a new conversation with new data because that data is not saved to a database. It's only saved to your local device, which makes Next Chat maximum secure. All right, and now on to the features that are really cool about Next Chat that again caused me to use Next Chat as a developer. Right off the bat, you'll notice over here where the conversations go. If you're using chat.openai.com, it's just one long line of conversations. There's no structure or order at all. With Next Chat, it's different. The first thing you'll notice is there's a search bar. So I can actually search through my long list of conversations for what I've been talking about in another conversation. So maybe I've been talking about Next.js a lot. It'll pull up all the conversations about Next.js, or maybe I'm asking about the new app directory. It pulls up all the conversations I have about the app directory where I mentioned the app directory. Another really cool thing is it has a way to create folders. So say you have uh, multiple clients, I'll say client number one, then I could just start new conversations within this client one folder. And I can have all of my different clients have a unique folder. And so at any time I can come back to that conversation. And if I was using certain code for that particular project, I can see what it was. This was super helpful recently. Something happened with one of my client data with a project I was working on. Everything was deleted from like a day of work. But thankfully, my conversation was saved to nextchat.ai in a conversation folder. I was able to go find the code that I've been working on in a conversation. And I was able to basically copy and paste it back into the backup of the project. It saved me like another day of work trying to recreate everything. So that's really cool. Another thing is a prompt library. This is something that ChatGPT just does not have. You probably know that ChatGPT is stuck in the year 2021 with its knowledge base. This is kind of devastating for developers because technology is changing so quickly. You really need up-to-date information. And so one of the ways that people have gone about fixing this problem is by creating what are called prompts. Prompts are a way to train ChatGPT in a conversation itself. So if ChatGPT doesn't know something, you could start out a conversation by telling it all the new information it needs to know in order to respond to your questions correctly. And so with nextchat.ai, there's a private prompt library where you can add all your prompts. And so for example, let's just say I'm working on a Next.js 13 project. As you know, a lot has changed since 2021. Really everything has changed for the most part. And so you could create a new prompt. Open up that prompt. You could name it next.js13. And I'll say it is now the year 2023 so that it knows that this is new information. You're stuck in 2021. This is information from 2023. Next, JS just came out with version 13. Instead of creating pages in a pages directory, you now create pages in an app directory. There's obviously more to this, but I'm just, for an example, I'm just gonna save this and I'll say app. And I'll show you how it works. So anytime I wanna start a conversation about Next.js, I can say slash, go down to Next.js 13 app, start the conversation with that. Now I can say create a page named about. And you'll notice it went ahead and updated some of its information. It said there should be an app directory in the root of your project. And the rest the rest of the information isn't completely correct because I didn't teach it all the new information. But that's just a quick example. You could add to that all you want. You could be very specific. And I think I did that with this one here. So I'll say next 13 official. Let me clear this conversation. I'll try to go to that one real fast and see what it says. And now I'll say create a page called about. And as you can see, that was a longer prompt that I created earlier. And it just automatically knows there's an app directory now. And it knows you should create a folder called the about folder. And within that, you should create a page called page.tsx. And then I went ahead and created an example page for you. And it knows you can get there by going to forward slash about. So this is a super essential part of my workflow. And this private prompt library, only you can see this. And it also has a way to create folders. You can search through your prompts like you can your conversations. Another really cool thing is that they just added like within the past week. It's called a global prompt library. If you go there, it's still super, super basic. It just came out. So I'm 
I'm assuming this will be more advanced in the future, but it's a way for the community to create prompts, the community of next chat developers. So if you click this create a a prompt button. If you're working with some new tech that's not in the global prompt library, you can come to the create prompt link and add a prompt for the community, which would be super helpful. You'll notice there's a lot of Next.js 13 prompts and there's another one called Tech in Project. This is something I use a lot. I actually created this one. So this is an example prompt that uh, I use a lot in my, my prompts. I'll say client tech or something like this. Paste that there. I'll make sure uh, Next Chat knows I'm using Next.js, Tailwind, Prisma, Planet Scale, Next Auth. Here's my color themes. Remember this for context when creating a response. So I'll start out a conversation thread with all the tech that I'm using so that Next Chat responds with this information in mind. And it'll always use the correct colors for the color theme. And so this is super essential. This makes the process a lot faster. You'll notice there's some prompts for an API route handlers, which is super helpful because there's a very particular way you have to create your route handlers with Next.js 13. Server actions, app router, another route handler. And so let's just take this API route handlers prompt. I'm just going to create a new conversation. I'll paste it right there. And I'll say create a git endpoint with the API, API slash users, something like that see what it does. And so it knows within the app directory, there should be an API folder. Within the API folder, you can create another folder called users. Within that, you can put a route.js file, and then it gives you the code to add to that file. And this would be a working Git request. And then it tells you how to get to that endpoint, API slash users. So I can't express enough as a developer how valuable this prompt library is. With all my clients, I'll create specific specific prompts for each client to let Next Chat know exactly what tech I'm using. And if I'm using Next.js 13, I'll go ahead and train it on the new information it needs to know, like how to create pages in the app directory, how the new API route handlers work, things like that. And those are some of the reasons why I think nextchat.ai is the best chat GPT alternative for coding. If you are a coder, a developer, I honestly don't know why you would use chat.openai.com when you could be using nextchat.ai. Nextchat.ai just has so many essential features that are lacking from chat.openai.com. And on top of that, nextchat.ai is secure. So you can actually safely use your client data in your conversations without worrying about that data showing up in responses to questions that other random users are asking. Another thing, and like I said, it uses the ChatGPT Plus version. So you're going to get the same great responses as chat.openai.com. And NextChat Plus is only $20 a month. So it's the same price as ChatGPT Plus, but you're getting so many more features and you're getting the added security of nextchat.ai. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have you tried out nextchat.ai? What do you think about it? Do you think it's a good chat? ChatGPT alternative for coding? Do you think you might make the switch to nextchat.ai? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Like the video if you'd like to see more videos like this. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon to be notified when more videos come out. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.